Shalom. Uh, shalom. Uh, Salak. <laughs> uh, before I start, we give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem. Rechach Rosh, the monitors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutation for all like Akim. Walk, walk, they learn your teaching and truth and sincerity. This is going to be another video. Um, you know, real quick, something I was thinking about uh, sh should be rather obvious, but, you know, for those that are here in Great Millstone, you know, the Akim that are, hey, we fall under the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. All right, if you're given double honors at the beginning of a video, you should be watching the elders. All right, consistently. All right, so this is just a this is just a reminder video because you know you had a apostle Har, you know he just put this video out, which every brother in Great Millstone should have seen, all right, or at least should know about through whomever you know through whoever saw it in the camp and their brother got the word out. It's in order to be up to date of things that's going on within the brotherhood, in order to know any decrees that are coming out or to know, uh, you know, what we should be doing, you know, hey, watch the elders. You should be watching the elders consistently. I try to watch the elders daily, all right? Try to watch the elders daily so you know what's going on, all right? If you claim to be of great millstone, how are you going to know what's going on if you don't know what the leaders are telling you, all right? Just to give you an example, if you're on the football team, all right, you have to be listening to what your uh, quarterback if he's calling out any colors and numbers all right so it's the same thing you have to listen out for what the heads are calling out all right to let us know you know what's going on all right here in detroit we had a guy uh this fucker and he's not here anymore obviously he he had once boasted oh yeah I, i've gone two years without watching the elders you know some crazy like that some type of big crazy number you know we was like well what the fuck you know, hey, look, if you don't, if you have a problem with the elders and apostles, you know, just leave. Because ultimately, you're going to end up having a problem with any order that comes down or with the brotherhood in and of itself. All right. In no other aspect of life can you be a part of something and not listen to the person that's in charge in a consistent manner so you can stay up to date. All right. At work, you don't just ignore your manager or your boss or your uh, CEO or vice president all the damn day. You're... Hey, you, this is how we know what's going on, all right? Of course, you watch other brothers' videos, but you got to watch the elders and the apostles so you can know what's going on here in Great Millstone because things like this can happen. You know, the apostle, he'll make a decree, you know, here recently, you know, no new members. And if you're not watching them, you won't know what's going on, all right? For all you know, the apostles could release a video saying, you know, it just came out that, uh, you know, let's say, uh, Let's say that Esau just officially stated that all ground turkey is mixed with pork. Every single amount of ground turkey has been mixed with pork, uh, you know, and it's poisonous. You know, it's all everyone recall it. Don't eat it. You wouldn't know because you're not, you know, you're not watching. I'm just using that as an example. That's the first thing that came to mind. All right. So I'm going to get some scriptures real quick. You know, this ain't going to be too long a video. Just wanted to, uh, you know, highlight the point. Hey, we have to, hey, uh, they watch for us, you know, they watch over our souls and they watch for our souls. We have to watch for them. We have to, and, hey, they are in the stead right now, hey, and haters going to hate of Yahweh Shai. They're leading over us, all right? And that's just how it is. Let me get uh, 35. The same way that the sheep all look to the shepherd, we have to look to that to those that are leading us. And they're leading us unto Yahweh Shai. All right, until Yahweh Shai returns. Sirach chapter 6, verse 35, it says, Be willing to hear every godly discourse. So be willing to take time out of your day to listen to the videos that the apostles do. You'll get a man of scripture to tell you, but you'll you'll become wise. All right, you'll learn things that the majority of people in this world don't know. You'll learn, there's a, hey, you'll learn about the experiences that they went through so that they can tell us all right, so that they can warn us against. So there's a reason why the apostles stay, you know, hey, if you can, just stay off of social media. All right, if you can, avoid the fucking clubs because they've experienced all that. All right, if you can, hey, lead a simple life. Go to work, come home, read, do your videos, exercise a little bit, and call it a fucking day. All right, they've been through all these things. So everything that they tell us, they're not going to 
teach us bullshit to misguide us. They're telling us things in which is useful and, edif and edificational and helpful for the church. All right, it says, be willing to hear every godly discourse and let not the parables of understanding escape thee. Hey, and the apostles be dropping mean breakdowns. And if you're not watching them, you won't know the understanding of any, of any scriptures. All right, you'll be a parrot. There's a difference between, hey, Apostle Gabar, I did a video earlier. All right, there's the different stages. You don't just want to be a parrot. You want to actually have this understanding. You hear it, you go look into it, and now you have it for yourself. Otherwise, the understanding will escape you. 36, it says, And if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee betimes unto him, and let thy foot wear the steps of his door. And that's just how it is. If you see men of understanding, which here at Great Millstone are elders and apostles, all right, are the men of understanding, get thee betimes unto them. Wear the steps of their door, meaning what? Follow tightly near to them. If you were in a dark alleyway and a man that was holding the flashlight is in front of you, you're going to be on his ass so he can lead you through the darkness. All right, it's the same way now. You can't claim to be in Great Millstone and you're not watching the apostles and the elders. That's fucking silliness. That's absolute <laughs> Tom Fuller. All right, one second. All right, and now let me get this. All right. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 17. Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls as they must give account. Count. So they're watching over us. All right. And they and they can't, and they'll be judged if they're not doing their job. That's why they that's why the apostles go so hard. That's why the elders go so hard. That's why you have, you know, you look at elders like uh, Elder Yahshua, the elder Kazat, you know, the elder brother, uh, I believe, uh Karataza. Ba down there in Vegas. All right, the elder from the Baltimore camp. All right, and you know, and, and hey, the elder uh, 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 Malcolm of Chicago. You know, many of the elders in whom I have not mentioned. You know, those are just some of the brothers that came to mind. Hey, they have to watch over us. All right, so we have to fall in line, make their job easier. You you shouldn't be, you shouldn't always be the dude who's fucking late to the news. Hey, did everybody see, you know, what the apostles put out this week? Oh, no. What, what happened? What? What, what happened? You don't want to, don't, don't be that guy. Because you could be in violation of something for a whole week and not realize it. Something that could be serious or life-threatening. All right. Let's, let's say when the, uh, and you know, we'll all know by then, when the Mark of the Beast is fully implemented and, man, look. You don't you don't want to be the last one to know some shit. All right, as simple as that. It says that they may do it with joy and not with grief, grief, for that is unprofitable for you. Con. So if you're following along, hey, it'll be to to the head's joy. All right, and it'll be profitable for us because if you're not, then it'll be unprofitable to you. You won't know what in the holy hell is going on. You're just gonna be blowing in the wind. All right, and you don't want to be fucking blowing in the wind. All right. And if you have a problem with it, you know, always you can leave. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 1, it says, Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the Most High Power, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools, for they consider not that they do evil. And I'm mainly grabbing this for this point specifically, and be more ready to hear. All right. So when those videos show up, you know, hey, Hey, I I be looking forward to the apostles. Shoot, I be getting I be getting mad when the apostles ain't. <laughs> I be getting anxious. All right, when the apostle I be waiting for apostle to throw something up. I be waiting for apostle Ramla or apostle Gabar. You got uh, this is the uh, elder apostle Ramla's channel. All right, you know I be waiting uh. For the, the live streams, all right? Hey, and look, another thing right here. The new moon. Hey, perfect. This will be a perfect example. If you're not watching, hey, the apostles throw it up. And you know what? They could be, hey, and they're being gracious through doing this because they could just say, okay, every camp, y'all have to figure out when the new moon is. And that wouldn't be wicked. Every, every camp, you know, y'all got to look in the stars or get on a mobile app or get on some sort of app to figure out when it is for yourself 
and then check in every month, every new moon with the apostles to make sure it's right. Hey, that wouldn't be wicked, but they're being, they're making it easy for us. All right. They just throw this video up with the expectations that we're going to see it. This is why it's profitable to watch or to watch the elders and apostles, apostle Tahar, apostle Gabar, apostle Ramla, uh, apostle uh, Racha. All right. And all the elders on down, you know, brothers have their different favorites. Watch as many as you can so you can know and be up to date on what's going on uh, here in this arm, here in this spiritual army of Great Millstone. All right. If you claim to be a man or a soldier in Great Millstone, once again, if you don't like it, you can leave. The door is always open. But if you claim to be here, you have to fucking be here. All right. So, uh, God, I'll uh, get this final scripture, First Peter 5 and 2. Uh... I'll start at one. All right, hey, this is something that, you know, our elders and our leaders are, you know, that they have to hold to. This is, it says, the elders which are among you, I exhort, whom am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Hamashiach, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of the most high power which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. So they have the, they have the oversight of the flock. All right, and they have to do their part, and us as the flock, we have to do our part. They lead and we follow. That's just how it is. It says, neither is being lords over the most high power's heritage, but being in samples to the flock. All right, and they're being examples to us. So follow, hey, follow in the good path. The scriptures tell you, uh, basically, a wise man looketh well to his going. All right, hey, look, hey, we got good examples of men. All right, men who had the opportunity to do whatever the hell they cho could have wanted to do in the world, but they chose to do this. All right. You know, so, hey, hey, make their jobs easier for them. All right. Make the head of your camp, make his life easier. All right. So with that, I'm going to give all praises to you. How about Shemel Shai, about Shemar Kakurash, the honors to the apostles, Elders Grand Millstone, peace, blessing, and salutations, all like the Akim, Wakwati, learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.